Welcome to this Your Pilates practice for an open heart and healthy hips. We'll get started today in child's pose. Lowering your torso down, resting your belly between your thighs, and gently placing your forehead on the mat as you reach the arms out in front. You might like to close the eyes here. And give to yourself this space to check in. Notice whether there are any physical sensations manifesting within the body. Maybe there's some inner dialogue. Perhaps some emotional tension. Allow yourself to be honest. Meet each experience with an open heart and loving compassion. Let us commence today's practice taking one nourishing breath, inhaling through the nostrils, and exhaling, letting go. From here, mindfully walk your hands, your arms over to the left, feeling a nice stretch for the right side of your torso. One breath here. Softening the belly. Let's return through center and guide our arms over to the right. Breathing into the left side body, creating space and letting go. Return your hands to center, coming into child's pose. On your next inhalation, press into your palms, rise into tabletop, stacking hips over knees and shoulders over wrists. On your inhalation, drop the belly, open the chest, gaze forward. Exhale, press into your palms, around the spine, chin to chest. Let's flow through a few more rotations of our cat and cow. Really moving in any way that feels right for you here. Softening the face and the jaw. Let's go for one more round. And return your spine to a neutral alignment and send your hips back towards your heels. On your next inhalation, press into the palms around the spine and roll through into your supported plank. On your exhalation, bend the elbows lower down with control. Inhale, rise into baby cobra or your full cobra. Exhale to lower the belly and the forehead down. Inhale, press up into your supported plank. Exhale, send the hips back. We'll do that again. Inhale, spinal flexion, find your supported plank. Exhale, lower down with a neutral spine. Inhale, spinal extension, keep the shoulders lowered. Exhale, lower down with control. Inhale to rise, neutral spine. Exhale to soften, child's pose, we'll do that again. So we really want to hug the inner seams of our arms against our torso, keeping your elbows facing behind you as you lower down, pressing the tops of your feet into the mats, creating nice fluid movements. We'll do this once more. Inhale, supported plank. 
exhale engage the body lower down inhale heart more connect core full exhale mindfully lower down inhale rise up supported planks exhale child's pose now you can rest in child's pose or again take this once more at your own rhythm you might like to close the eyes here really allow the breath to guide each movement and here we will all meet in our child's pose you might like to bend the elbows here and relax the arms reconnecting with the power of stillness Offer yourself one more breath in child's pose. Mindfully rise onto all fours. Keep a neutral spine and now let's lower down onto our forearms, aligning the elbows with shoulders. Find an inhalation here. On your next exhalation, engage the core muscles. Glide your left leg back, point the toes. Inhale here. Exhale to lift your leg. Inhale to lower with control. Exhale to lift, engage the glutes. Inhale to lower, let's go again eight more times. So we want to raise our leg as high as we can without arching the lower back. If you notice that this begins to happen, turn on the lower abdominals a little more and perhaps don't raise the leg as high. Press a little bit more firmly into your left forearm, your left palm to support you here. Let's go for two more rounds. On your next exhalation, keep your leg raised, re-extend your arms. From here, exhale knee to chest, round the spine, inhale extend, exhale knee to chest, inhale extend. Let's go for eight more rounds. So every time you guide your knee to the chest, turn on the core muscles. Every time you extend your leg, engage your glutes. We want to keep the shoulder girdle and the pelvis stable here and now let's open our leg out to the side so we open it out and we extend it behind us while we perform this exercise we want to do our best to keep the right hip stacked over the right knee so finding that stability in the upper body keep the neck long well done keep the leg extended behind you Keep your right palm on the earth, raise your left arm and come into a supported side plank. Taking a moment to find your foundation. On your next exhalation, float your left leg up to hip height. Inhale, tap the big toe down. Exhale to lift. Inhale to lower and again. So we're lengthening both sides of the waist here. And again, we don't want to arch the back. We want to keep that integrity in the lower core muscles. Exhale to lift, inhale to lower. On your next exhalation, keep the leg lifted. Return your left palm down, square up the hips. And let's find our tricep push-ups here. Exhale, bend the elbows, lower the torso. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. Inhale to lift eight more times. Keep the left glute active, pointing your toes, lengthening your leg. As these are our tricep push-ups, we want to try to squeeze the inner arms towards the torso, keeping the elbows facing behind us, lowering with control, and lifting. Exhale to lower, inhale to lift, continue to breathe here, once more, well done, elevate the torso, tuck your right toes under, 
raise the pelvis and rise into a three-legged dog feeling a beautiful stretch for the right leg you might like to bend the left knee and stretch out your hip lower the left foot down to down dog and just take a moment to pedal out your legs here release any tension when you're ready lower down into child's pose and let's take three mindful breaths here On your next breath, press into the palms, rise into tabletop, and let's take this series on the other side. So we'll lower down onto our elbows, onto our forearms. Exhale, extend your right leg back, point the toes. Pause for the inhalation. Exhale to lift. Inhale to lower. Exhale to lift eight more times. We're activating the right glute. Every time you lift that leg, think about drawing your navel towards the spine. Continue to keep the neck long, gaze towards your mat. The right hip bone is continuing to face towards the mat as well. The pelvis is stable. Exhale to lift. Inhale to lower. Exhale lift. Inhale lower and again. Let's go for one more round. From here, keep your leg elevated. Re extend your arms, inhale. Exhale, right knee to chest. Inhale, extend. Exhale, engage the glutes around the spine. Inhale, find length eight more times. Pressing a little bit more firmly into your right palm and your right fingertips here. Keeping the left hip stacked over the left knee. Let's go for one more round. Keep your leg extended. And now on your exhalation, open your leg out to the side. We inhale, reach the leg behind you. Exhale to turn your leg out. So we want to keep that leg at hip height. We want to keep the torso stable as best as we can. You can see I'm moving around a little bit here. Beginning to feel some heat around the core muscles and the outer hips and glutes. Well done. Keep the leg elevated. Left palm stays grounded. Inhale, float your right arm up. Pivot to the right as we come into our supported side plank. On your exhalation, lift your leg. Inhale to tap the big toe down. We are raising the leg to hip height and lowering with control. Feeling the activation of your obliques, the stabilizing muscles of the side body. Exhale to lift. Inhale to lower. Once more. Keep the leg elevated. Return the right palm to the earth, square off the hips. And let's find our tricep push-ups. Exhale to lower. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. Inhale to lift. Even if you're only lowering down a few centimeters, that is okay. We want to maintain that integrity with the upper body. We want to keep the shoulders stable and the pelvis stable, meaning both hips are at the same level. Let's go for three more rounds. Allowing the breath to guide you here. Final round. And mindfully lower to child's pose. Beautiful work. I didn't take a three-legged dog stretch here, so if you want to balance out the body, feel free to pause the video, 
find a nice stretch in your down dog or your three-legged dog and return to child's pose when you're ready. From here, let's elevate the torso, release any tension from the shoulders and the upper back. And let's come to take a seat on our glutes, extending both legs out in front. We are going to come into a dynamic hip and heart opener. On your inhalation, reach your arms skywards, find length. Exhale, forward fold, round the spine. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, lower your palms onto the earth. Inhale, press into the palms, raise the hips, open the heart. Exhale, lower the glutes down, we'll do that again. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, forward fold, round the spine. Inhale to rise, open up the chest. Exhale, palms on the earth. Inhale, rise into your reverse plank, engage the glutes. Exhale to lower down, let's do that again. Allow the breath to guide you here. You might find it helpful to point the toes, otherwise you can relax or flex your feet. Relaxing the face, keeping the neck long. And we'll do this again. Inhale, raise the arms, keep the shoulders lowered. Exhale, forward folds. Inhale to rise up, reach the fingertips skywards. Exhale, palms on the earth. Inhale, press into your hands and your feet, engage the glutes, reverse plank, and this time let's stay in our reverse plank. Engaging the core muscles, keeping the arms active. If it's okay for your neck, you can gaze behind you. Two mindful breaths here. And gently lowering down, well done. Let's find our bound angle or our butterfly stretch, joining the soles of the feet together, resting your forehead on the mat, rounding the spine, really allowing the body to soften here. Guiding your breath to any regions where you notice sensation. Breathe in. And breathe out. When you feel ready, gently elevate the torso. Roll the shoulders back, come into a cross-legged position, we'll keep our right knee bent, extend your left leg out on a diagonal, take a moment to stabilize the pelvis, inhale, raise the arms, exhale, side bend to the left. From here, scoop your arms around, right palm on the earth behind your glutes, rise up, let's go again. Exhale to lower, side bend. Inhale to rise up, open up the heart and the hips. Exhale to lower, find a nice stretch for the torso and your leg. Inhale, scoop the chest around, rise up, create space. Let's pause here for a breath. Maybe raise your hips a little higher. And gently lower down. 
return to your side bend, perhaps lowering onto your forearm. Inhale to rise up, pivot your torso to frame your left leg, one hand on either side, and again let's find our forward fold, our revolved head to knee pose. With the support of your hands, elevate the torso, roll the shoulders back, and let's come into a cross-legged position, this time extending the opposite leg. Exhale, slide bend. Scoop the chest forwards and around. Inhale, rise up, baby wild thing. Exhale to lower the pelvis, side bend. Inhale to open the heart, smile. Exhale to lower, slide bend, maybe you find a little bit more space, a little bit more mobility. Inhale to rise up. We'll do this once more. Exhale, lower, find your side bend, soften the face. Inhale how to rise up. Let's keep the pelvis lifted. Breathe here. Gently release. Return to your side bend. One breath here. Mindfully rise up, roll the shoulders, pivot to frame your right leg. Maybe you stay upright or find your forward fold. With the support of your hands and your arms, elevate the torso, return to a cross-legged position, lengthen the spine, take a moment to close the eyes, relax the body. You might like to gently turn your head and your neck from side to side, finding a gentle release for the back of the neck, the upper back, or if you like finding stillness. If it feels right for you, you could find some gentle half circles or full circles with the head and the neck, relaxing the jaw and the face. Begin to slow down any movement. Take a moment to thank yourself for showing up to today's practice. Next inhalation, reach the arms skywards, palms together. Exhale, lower your hands towards your heart center. Thank you so much for joining this yoga practice. 
sending you love and light. I invite you to leave a comment down below and share your experience. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. That way you can really help support the continuation of free and accessible wellness practices. Thank you so much.